What is happening, Huff Maniacs? Welcome back to the Huff Magic Channel. Here, doing another episode of Retro Arcade. We're going to be attempting the world record a speed run on a little classic we call Oregon Trail. We're going to be doing more than just shooting every animal and loading our wagons up with meat. We're going to be trying to beat the game in less than 6 minutes and 11 seconds. Fording every river, crossing every obstacle, getting over that mountain pass. Subscribe and ring that bell so you can keep up to date with all the Huff news coming out to affect the world of Huff. We are going to be from Boston, because I like to think that my guy from Boston is just out here shouting about shit from Boston. And uh, that pleases me. So, of course, I'm always from Boston. My name, Huff Magic, my wife's name, of course, is Alex. And then there's Jackson, our little son. Fast Hands, he's the middle child. And the little baby is Danger. So, we're going to set out on our adventure, and you'll find that on the Oregon Trail, many dangers are present. There's disease, the death that can come from crossing rivers, uh, storms, animals, all kinds of stuff can happen to you. And... Alright, well, it seems that Huff Magic has died of dysentery, so we're, gonna, we're just going to do a quick little soft reset. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you just, it's, it's a dice roll. This game is built on random schematics so that these things can happen. So, uh, we're going to be from Boston and Huff Magic and Jackson and Alex. You know, dangers, my middle name. Uh, we're back here. Okay. So, there's lots of dangers that can come in. Okay. He died of another disease. So that can happen. Uh, you know, the game is just that way. It wants you to fully realize that at this point in time in America, there was just chaotic elements afoot, and anything can happen. So, soft reset. I am from Boston. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. did you, did you see that? Did, did my gravestone just fucking say, insert name here, is that what fucking... And so guys, I set out on that trail, hoping to discover myself, but more importantly, to discover Oregon. I figured if the digital me couldn't make it, then I had to prove to all of you guys out there that the physical me still could. I was going to cross any river, climb any mountain, and go whatever distance it took to prove that I was worth something, that I was valid, and that I wouldn't be the one to die of dysentery. You see, gang, my entire life I had been looking for something, and it wasn't until this wondrous wandering that I realized that the thing I had been looking for was Oregon all along. You see, out on that trail, the only things that matter are the wind and the water, dope gang, and not dying of dysentery. You're able to get to know yourself better than you knew was possible. Lewis and Clark may have been the original first to get out to the Pacific, but they wouldn't be the last. Huh. Once I smelled that salt in the air, I knew that I had finally made it all the way to the Oregon Pacific, and without any disease or starvation taking me out along the way. It was a rough trail, and one that only the best and most adaptable dudes can take on. I realized that I was powerful, I was in control, and I could do things in real life that video games couldn't achieve for me. I looked around and I realized... Hold on. Are there... are there alligators in Oregon? What does it mean? If I'm not a gamer, then what am I, Huff Maniacs? Who am I? What does Huff Magic mean if there's no magic in my fingertips? If lies is all that my hips supply? If I'm not a gamer, then what have I to get good about? Oh, these are the thoughts that weighed heavy on my mind, gang. But who needs an Oregon Trail? I decided I could become someone new. 
like the great poets say, when in Florida, become a beach ball and embrace the crazy. <laughs> I decided that this is it. This is where I could pretend dysentery and axle breakages weren't a thing. I was the son of Poseidon, a king of the sea. And I, oh my God, that's so fucking cold. So cold, never mind, never mind, never mind. Redo, redo. Sometimes, I think that maybe part of me did die of dysentery out there on the Oregon Trail. But then, I think the part of me that cared also died of dysentery out there. Perhaps I never will get good enough to find the moral high ground that rises above the sea level of mediocrity. But you know what? I can say that I'm alive. I'm here. And I can say that this, this is evidence that I got the world record speed run on the Oregon Trail, gang. <laughs> That's how you do it. Now, you know I'm still ranking in as a greenhorn because we had to use the shortcut glitch, but that's how you do it. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring my bell, and then, you know, follow us on everything. I'm talking Spotify, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, MySpace. Link yourselves to our LinkedIn, Instagram, and our Snapchat. You can also pay to see me on OnlyFans reading books out loud. Hey, keep on huffling in the free world, my huff maniacs. Peace out! Yo, it's your boy, Pretty Boy 619. I'm out here by the Circle K, just getting ready to get some modelos because it's modelo time, fool. Yo, yo, check out this homie with the kendo stick. What, he just lose a match against Mr. Sandman WCW? Dang, I ain't seen nobody with an actual stick in a bag, man. Oh my gosh. That boy just ate a hot dog dry, man. No relish, no nothing. We're crazy out here. Yo, loquito. Watch him walk. Whew. I ain't never seen nothing like that before.